I'm Rob Higgs and I'm the creator of the Stockton Flyer. This is a basically it's a jack in box steam train. Lids open, it rises out, wobbles, dances, whistles and bells, and then tucks itself away again once a day. Um, it works by you've got a computer that tells it to turn on, that turns a hydraulic lifts to open the lids, then a hydraulic scissor lift raises it up, then the thing works from a running machine and smoke machine and compressed air all mixed together, which then the, the motors run the wheels, the rest does the smoke, and then wobbles and then reverse pops it back in the box. The basic thing is that's actually a ship's buoy out of Falmouth Harbour where the chain would have gone through that hole and that's used, you know, massive shaft at the top of the ships are coming anchor to. So that's a really handy starting lump then because it's like a six mil steel plate, big hole inside and put all my electronics and all of that in there and then, then these are old cartwheels, I've added bits more, dressed that to make that fatter and then I've put them, I was going to make it so it rolled on a track and like a, like a running machine but the worry of something going wrong and it actually just firing it off the end was too much. So I've ended up making the mechanism here that actually try to get some movement in it so it's not a static thing. That's actually copied the mechanism. You know the um, those rides in the park, the old horses that do do that that kids pile onto. The two whistles, two steam whistles, the small screechy one, which was actually an old, it's often old steam train, American steam train, complete with little bullet holes. See all these around it. That's powered by a truck windscreen wiper motor that's inside here, waterproof there, with that gear into this one to half the speed. This then runs a snail cam which tilts this. That then pulls that lever here, which then is doing, pulling that lever on the whistle. If I cover me ears and pull it now. There you go, that's quite loud. <laughs> the smoke from a big smoke machine down there and under that fish box, that's getting ducted up throughout all these numerous parts and holes and pipes. And the air then, I was trying to work out how to get the smoke pressure up, but if you pressurise the smoke, then it just destroys it. Whilst well, if you just squirt air near the smoke, or I was thinking maybe it had to go down through the centre to bring it, but it doesn't. Venturi or Bernoulli effect just pulls all the smoke that was near it to where the low pressure air jet is and fires that all out. So that gives a really good impression that the smoke is pressurised when actually it's not, it's just wafting near an air jet. Here's the electronic and electrical controls of it all. Basically, numerous switches, ins and outs that are made and that times when what switch turns on, when it turns off, or more importantly, for this is it's got switches and sensors everywhere so once like for example it starts lid open so it commands the switch lid open which tells the contactor to turn on the big hydraulic power pack which does the round once that's opened then that hits the little switch at the end that then says right I've done that that switch then signals back and once it receives an income in, input that says yes I've done that only then can it do the next bit and so it goes on and on and then this is the thing that drives the wheels themselves. There's a running machine motor mounted in the middle that then comes up on um, like a washing machine belt basically, poly V belts. And then that comes onto this main shaft here. And then that drives those two gears there when those then drive the wheels. Basically they put the wheels off center to try to build some suspense into it rather than just it popping up and doing its thing um, as a sort of that's it. Trying to how do you make a show out of it, given that it's in, effectively an animate machine? So I sort of went on the basis of if I can build these up as a pendulum, so it, they slowly rise more and more. And, then, and so that I think that works. So you see, you see the whole when it nearly gets over. If you're watching. I spent a lot of time like inviting people to watch it and then standing behind them watching their responses of what what works. And you see them all go like, <laughs> everyone's head is like, you know, the PlayStation sort of 
<laughs> move the controller. Really, my, my thoughts for Stockton was, yeah, it is incredible what Stevenson achieved. I, it was more, didn't really think that much about the art side of it. It was more, yeah, he, he, he was incredible. <laughs> for me, I'm not comfortable really with the whole art scene full stop or even art really is how it works in, in our cultural sort of oh let's go and observe some art and you know it's so one way I don't like it at all I just like I like making cool stuff really just something that's fun you know I, I and mean, there's nothing more to it and I like the mechanics I like making people scared or happy or whatever you know and you, you can only get for me I can only get that by surprising them with something 